most of the blessings where you have, Lord, individually and, and as the city. And Father, we gotta do your business, Lord, and pray for wisdom, sermon, Lord, and that everything we do today be in accordance with your will and purpose. And we ask your continued protection, of the Lord, of our, our staff, Lord, and our policemen, and everyone involved, all our workers, Father, and just protect them and guide them all that to do. And, salvation we have through your son Jesus Christ for his death, burial, and resurrection Lord, so that we might have everlasting life and we promise you return someday. God us and direct us always and in everything we do bring you honor, glory, and praise. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Herbert couldn't be with us today. Uh, he's been a little under the weather and I certainly hope that he is feeling better soon. Uh, we don't have anyone to address the council. Let's hear from my report of officers, Fire Chief Bud Strickland. This is the same company that we've been using in years past, and um, he's been doing it for mm -hmm. 15, 20 yeah, years. Many years I guess. He's been doing it ever since for a long time. Mm -hmm. Usually, the amount that totals to is that usually between uh, somewhere six between and six. 55, six. Sometimes, mm -hmm. if we have to have some valve rebuild or something happens, it might run. We're looking at the budget that's been part the norm for several years in the six thousand range. Okay. Well, maintenance is the key. We need to have these serviced. And so, that's a, any comments from the council? I mean. Are we on the budget for them? Everything's yes. Mm -hmm. good. Yes. I have to say, Bud uh, has done a very good job through the years of keeping the fire department within budget. We've done a good job on that, Bud. Approval, Mayor. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. I make a motion to approve it as presented, and then he overruns as to have the approval of the mayor. Okay. Thank you. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, bud. Aye. Appreciate it. Okay. And, uh, bud, get with me and uh, we'll discuss. He needs to get my contact information in case he needs to call me, okay? Thank you. Uh, Chief of Police, Jana Jackson. Okay. Do we want to, uh, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh huh. During the work session, uh, the council reviewed. Uh, the police fleet and the condition and or the mileage and the years uh, we have one police car that is uh, looking to have a, a new engine or needing an engine replaced and so with the uh, situation the mileage and the years it's time that we look at uh, replacing uh, maybe two and I'm looking at another one for next year but at this time we'd probably need a, a motion to uh, approve for us to um, get bids and quotes for the council to review you at the next council meeting. You would uh, give me and Janet authority to do that, please. I'll make a motion for y'all to get bids on chargers, uh, Ford and the, uh, maybe a Chevy. have three options to look at. Mm -hmm. uh, that way we can see which one's best, uh, cost effective and best quality for the next meeting. Okay. 
Second. All, right. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, Jen. Appreciate it. Park and Rec Director Dean Hubbard. Uh, we'll be playing our last soccer game tomorrow night uh, here. Uh, they still have their tournament that will be played at Winfield this year, but uh, had, uh, so far we've had a really good success with the soccer. Um, we got rained out on a couple dates, but over and all, it's been, it's been good. Um, we've got uh, basketball sign-ups going on. Uh, that will be running through October the 28th. It's still pretty slow right now from what I can tell. Um, we've, we've had about 10 to sign up on the uh, on the internet. So maybe we've still got two weeks and so maybe they'll really pick up. I'll try to run it through the school again to get them to send out the email. Uh, the text, I think that works pretty good. We got some, we got some response from that. So, um, and uh, we'll, we'll get it back in the paper again this week. Um, Trunk or Treat will be coming up on the 31st, that Tuesday night. Uh, First Baptist Church is uh, working with me uh, pretty close. They've kind of always been the sponsor for that. And uh, the city's part of it is we're trying to get more businesses involved. We're trying to open it up to any church, any, anybody that wants to have a trunk, we're there more than welcome to. Um, we're trying to advertise that the best we can. And uh, we'll block off the streets and get the lights up for them. And, and uh, you know that, that's pretty much the city's part of it. But uh, that'll be coming up on the 31st from 5.30 to 8 o'clock. Uh, I've got one more thing. Do you want to do that on the new business or do you want me to talk about it now? You can go ahead and present now. That'll be fine. Okay. Um, on the water slides, we have, if you'll look at those pictures on the very back, of, uh, these are just a few random pictures that I've taken. Uh, we have... We had a few instances this year where kids were going down the slides and they get nicked and some of them got some abrasions on them, nothing severe. And we really got to looking at it and I got to call them around to find out how to fix them. And uh, the life expectancies or the refurbish for these slides is supposed to be every 10 years. You're supposed to go in and resurface them. You don't have to change the color, but you're supposed to go in and resurface them and get the oxidation off of them. Um, from the, all the records that I can see and anybody that I know is any things about them, we have never done that. We have uh, pressure washed them, but we have not done anything. And you see these little chips and things in it, that's for all fiberglass, that's little holes. And these kids are zipping down through there and they'll get little cuts on them. So I looked into trying to get this refurbished and this, uh, it's a pretty big undertaking to have that done. Uh, the company that actually makes the slide is no longer in business. So I reached out to uh, Ewan had had one refurnished uh, last year and I talked to a couple more people that had, had refurbished some and got some names and also as much fiberglass people as we have here in Red Bay, I went and talked to some local guys and uh, I kind of got some estimates, just ballpark figures from where we're thinking we're at and I got anything from, from 30000 to 55000 so uh, the mayor suggested that I get this bid fixed up and we would send it out for bid with y'all's approval to, uh, to see where we're at with this. But it's reaching real critical stage here. We need to do something to it because if, that, if there was to be a piece of that flip up after we've seen it and the kid hang that, I mean, it could cut them bad because some of them are on the straight slide. And it's just water erosion. That water going down for so long and it's sitting out in the sun, it's just eroding them. It hadn't gotten down into the fiberglass yet, but we don't want to wait that long because if it does, you've got major repairs. And um, y'all can kind of look over that bid when, if you have a second there. And uh, a lot of it is just going in and getting all the excess out of the crack, the, the caulking, recaulking all the surfaces. And uh, this, I kind of copied this from a one of the places that this is all they do is refurbish slides. But naturally they were one of the highest ones I got. But you know, I told them that it would have to be opened up to be it with y'all's approval and, and they said, well just uh, clean it up for what y'all expected. So I kind of took their bid and cleaned it up. Jennifer helped me with that, cleaned it all up so that we can uh, take their wording out of it and put ours in it. And uh, so I, I'm asking that y'all's thoughts on that that we pursue at least getting bids on it and see what it would cost to have this done. 
Yeah, we need to get that taken care of before we have an injury. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah, it, you don't. We don't want to wait till it, till it rolls up a big piece and somebody really gets cut. Mm -hmm. Mayor, now the, the, I didn't realize he's gonna make a presentation today, but now that the city's aware of it and you know it, then your liability goes up dramatically. You don't right, exactly. Yeah. And is it correct to say that once you've got holes like this, it's just gonna keep on getting larger and larger and, get and, worse. and getting worse. So. Um, but the life expectancy is 10 years, and I think we're on year 17. So, mm -hmm. so uh, it's long overdue that we take a look at this. And so that's why I told Dean to, to get us some specs up, and, and we need to take bids to see what kind of money we're talking about. So and we can budget with all that. the work we did last summer by refurbishing all the pumps and the motors, hopefully that this will be the last big thing we have to do for them for quite some time. Do you need a motion for get bids or just? Yes, to accept bids based on these bid specifications. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to accept bids on the specifications of the refurbishing the slides. I hear a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Dean, one more thing. While you're here, let's go ahead and talk about, uh, Dean and I have been doing a little homework on a possibility of a, a new project uh, that we can apply for, um, we were talking only about grant funds. Funds become available when you, you don't realize it or they're just different agency with different opportunities out there. The ALDOT has a new uh, uh, grant fund out there called the TAP funds. And there's $800,000 of available monies out there. And what this uh, focuses on is um, transportation. Transportation meaning sidewalks, uh, getting people from point A to point B. You know, we have a sidewalking project now that's uh, adjacent to 6th Avenue along our housing authority. This particular project we're looking at, we've already brought NACOG down here and along with our engineer about uh, continuing that project with these TAP funds to go ahead and continue, make a continuation of this present sidewalk project to go ahead and take it on down in front of the housing authority, which will connect uh, the Hoyt Keaton walking trail to and the fun park and and that will include uh, landscaping lighting it's it's a really nice looking project you know and in addition to that we're looking at maybe uh, e extending the Hoyt Keaton walking trail and clearing that up through there we've got lots of trees on the trail right now regardless if we extend it or not lots of trees that need uh, trimming and cutting and we're getting bids on that and taking a look at that so by the, not, uh, the next council meeting, we should have some information for you on, uh, and estimates on um, possibly a provi uh, applying for some grant funds to see if we can get some improvements. For well, that. We're also so, looking at the dog park inside of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, that's a need. Uh, every day there's Allegro people down there walking their dogs on the soccer fields or the mm -hmm. track or whatever. And, you know, it would look good, you know, make it professional as we can and I've already started getting some pricing on some fences and the, the room's already there it's just a matter of do we want to extend the track and how we want to make it but mm -hmm. Ron's going to help us draw all that up and pretty big plan but it'll, it'll we this all kind of originated from two things we were looking at lighting in the parks and this was this came available through NACOG you know if we put the pedestrian sidewalks in there we can get lighting on part of it and, and also it was um, the, the water damage that's already been created to fix that Mr. Mr. Trulo come down there and we looked at it. He says, until we stop the water, we're kind mm -hmm. of defeating the purpose. Yeah. So, you know, there's part of that we can't even mow. We just have to weed it because the roots are so exposed. So by putting this sidewalk all the way down from the skate park, all the way down through there and connecting it in to the phase two, and this mm -hmm. would be phase three of this sidewalk, we can stop all that water. And then we can fix the landscape on the park. It's what we originally was trying to do anyway. So it, it, it actually was good that she needed Well, it's actually about, it's a drainage, sidewalk, and lighting project all in one. Yes. Which, you know, so we're in process of getting some plans drawn up for y'all to look at. It's a really good project. Yeah. And a plus, it's going to promote tourism with the dog. And that is by the far mm -hmm. the most used park in this town. It is. It, there's people there all mm -hmm. day long. Mm -hmm. And, uh, a lot of them are just sitting, but they're there. Yeah, a lot going on in Park and Rec. We're talking a lot about it now. We had our, uh, I guess, first invitational disc golf tournament yesterday. I believe they had about 25 
something like the entrance, uh, entrance and a uh, really good turnout. I had a company there that uh, was there to help them uh, to scoreboard and just promoting our disc golf in Red Bay. It was a really good day there. And, uh, those guys are really pumped about oh, yeah. this they're, golf. They're, you know. they're very thankful to all of y'all for letting us do that. And and I, I can't, all I did was just point them in the right direction. They did, I'd get the stuff from Tiffins and have it down there and they would put it in place. They've done excellent. They've done a good job. So we appreciate them very much. So anything else, Dave? That's well, that's a lot, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, moving forward. We need to accept the agenda as presented or amend the agenda if anyone has anything to amend with the item. We need a motion to um, uh, accept. I have a motion to accept the agenda. Okay. Do I hear a second? Second. Roll call? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Thank you. No business. No one has signed up for the uh, to serve on the soccer board. No look with that, Dean. Okay. Okay. And so we'll move forward to new business. Uh, Red Bay School expenditure request. Mike Kennedy. Did they have a copy of our bylaw? Yes. They should. Okay. Yeah. okay. The first one, 416, uh, is from Miss Neighbor's fourth grade. She's uh, asked for a <coughs> registration fee to be paid. Uh, She's doing it on the day that's uh, professional development. Uh, today she's out of school and she's paying her own way there. So all she's asking for is the 111.77 for the registration and fee. And we'll do these one at a time or all of them. Let's, let's keep rolling. We go through you. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> the second is from uh, Rick Fors Maintenance uh, it's to purchase lifts and uh, items, some, uh, a cart, some door hardware, uh, four different hinge adjust, uh, and a lifting tool for $610.43. Any questions, comments? Uh, next, number 418 is uh, from uh, Jared, his agri-science class. Uh, he's got a grant uh, to do, and you explain it obviously a lot better than I can, uh, an aquaponics system. You will put it in your greenhouse, uh, and it's uh, in order that to function properly needs a level surface. It's dirt now. It's a $3,000 concrete project. Uh, development fund, I uh, understand, is funding half of it, and uh, he's asked for for half of it, $1,500. Uh, $1, uh, if you want to elaborate on that, Jerry, you can. Uh, uh, or if you got any questions about it. Uh, well, 4 H had contacted me about the aquaponic <coughs> system. <coughs> And um, so what it will be, will be raising tilapia in the greenhouse and the water that the, the tilapia are in will help to fertilize two grow beds. And so it's a system that, that pumps the water through the grow beds and we'll be able to teach the, the um, children about um, the aquaponic system. And we do have, a, it's just a slag floor and we spend weeks cleaning that place up and getting it ready because mm -hmm. the grass grows in there and weeds and everything. So a uh, concrete floor with a drain in it would be <coughs> really helpful. Also in the spring we do the, uh, the plants for the garden <coughs> club. So um, people come into the greenhouse in the springtime to buy plants from the garden club and so it it'll really help out a lot if we can get a concrete floor put in that greenhouse. <clears throat> well, I'll help you out on that. From the garden club perspective, you know there is a you have to step over that entrance, that threshold mm -hmm. right there, and uh, concrete would certainly make that a safer area to walk through. So it will. That is, you're, it is needed most definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, Jared, I was going to tell you that if you check with the RC and D Council, Resource Conservation and Development, we got one a few years ago. We did a lot of hydroponic um, 
grants for high schools and stuff, and they come in and actually lay it all down and stuff, and I think they had something for fish when you said tilapia is what made me think about it. Okay. It would be worth a look to see. Okay. I've got a contact name I can give you on that too for R C and D council. Okay. Is that project ready to pour right now? Um, it can be, yes. We're we're needing it in as quickly as possible to uh, get that system put in. We want to get the fish in November and so um, so it it can be ready really quickly. Um uh, reason I asked that is I mean Jerry talked about this before, it'd be good if the education foundation could prompt that expense to get it done now for 3000 because that other check won't be approved and ready until December. Yeah. So otherwise he's going to have to wait until December to get this done. So, um, you know. I don't see that being a problem as long as they can make the check to the... Yeah, Education the Foundation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I'll that's make sure that, that that's what the check gets made for. Yeah. Y'all will be okay. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and but the education foundation front mm -hmm. of it so he can get it done before the weather. Definitely. I don't see the problem with that. That's mm -hmm. yeah. good. So we revise that approval when you do that on that one night. Okay. <coughs> All right. And the last one, uh, four, or we've got one more passive. 419 is, uh, you know, we've, we've got a, a, a track paving project that uh, <coughs> we've been on for a while now. And uh, we met with a paving company a few weeks ago, uh, and just short a few thousand dollars. But they pointed out something that, uh, and asked why we hadn't considered the, and, and really hadn't paid any attention to it, even though it's wide open. Is from the flagpole all the way down in front of the stands. There's a strip of grass anywhere from about 20 feet wide to about. 10 or 15 feet wide and uh, they asked why we didn't want to pave it all and do it all at one time make it look nice and neat they could slope it and they'd take the grass out pack it uh, with slag pave over it mill it in where it would be one nice clean look all the way from the stands now to the uh, to the field and I said well, you know, I don't know. That's a good idea. I don't know why we didn't. We're just worried about the track, mm -hmm. I reckon. So uh, to, to finish all that out is, is another $11,178. And, and, and I think uh, if, if we don't do it now, a year from now, we'll be thinking, why in the world didn't we do that when we had them here and make it look all nice and neat? Because, you know, the grass is either going to get blown on the track or it's going to get blown up in the stands, you know, one of the two. So it just it just makes sense to, to go ahead and do that, complete that project, make it make it look nice. So is this amount for that project? This is not yeah. part of the track, but just to yeah, the that's to, well to, a little bit to finish up the track. We're just okay. a little bit short uh, on the track, two thousand dollars, and uh, and then uh, to do that particular project. I think it was about maybe eight, and then we were short maybe. 32 or 3178. Well, that track is in bad, bad condition. Mm -hmm. yeah. On the north end, it dips, and they're supposed to level it out, and then another company will come in and stripe it for us. But they're prepared to start uh, Thursday. Do we receive any funds whatsoever for the board? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not a lot. We got ten grand from them, and you know, and May can try to squeeze out some more mm -hmm. over over time. Because all the um, if we do, that go. You know, we put it back to school. All the county track meets are at Red Bay. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can't host one anywhere yeah. else. That was really what stimulated this this to start with is what kicked it off was the fact that we're the only county school that can host a mm -hmm. track meet. And, and it's certainly not up standards and obviously uh, about any time of the evening you go up there there's citizens walking For sure. uh, mm -hmm. and using it so it gets a, it gets a lot of use and it uh, it'll just, it'll just kind of make the whole enhance the whole area. And then lastly, uh, 
which we didn't do in the meeting that I forgot to ask about is, uh, do we do it every year as the city's uh, add in the uh, basketball program? We do that $250 ad. I forgot to mention that. We kind of did a, a bang bang meeting, to try to get finished before today. the other. Yeah, yeah. And, and forgot forgot to do that. But uh, we'd like to add that uh, on there as well. That's to the tip off club, right? Right. Okay. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve all these and make the adjustment to what Brad was pointing out to us to pay for the three thousand dollars total for the greenhouse mm -hmm. and then let them pay us back. From the FCC DC. Okay. okay. Any discussion? You need to abstain on mm -hmm. We got that what we're doing with that one. Okay. All right. No other question. I'd put that in the form of a. But well, you did. I'll second okay. it. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All in favor? Aye. Uh, okay. 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 Good. Roadblock request. Red Bay High School baseball team request a February 2018 roadblock. Make um, a motion. We allow them to have the roadblock. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approve invoices as presented for payment. Move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approve minutes for a council meeting and work session held on October 2nd, 2017. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All of you get your minutes today that I sent you, okay. Approve minutes for a council meeting held on October 12th, 2017. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Brad, what do you have today? Nothing. Okay. Jason? Jared? It's quiet, Mike Hitty. Good. Okay. There's a very important meeting coming up on um, Thursday, October 26, 2017, at 6 o'clock p.m at the Phil Campbell High School Auditorium. That's on a Thursday. This is a broadband meeting. You know, we've been pleading and pushing and fighting Roger, you know, in Washington, Montgomery for help on broadband. So I encourage everyone who could possibly attend this meeting, very important meeting, uh, to attend this meeting. Um, a presentation will be made by Steve Foshi and the Franklin County Water Service Authority. So hoping they have wonderful news for us and um, for our county. I know it's uh, it's part of the program has already expanded to Haleville and, and, and coming this way. So that sounds like a great opportunity for broadband to get expanded in Franklin County. So I hope so. Young Max certainly been pushing it very hard. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, the Red Bay City Hall will be closed on Friday, November the 10th, 2017, in observance of Veterans Day. That fr Friday's garbage route will run on the following Monday. The next regular schedule can't. Uh, Meeting of the Red Bay City Council will be held Monday, November 6, 2017, at 7 o'clock p.m. The meeting will be held in the Red Bay City Hall Council Room, 203 4th Avenue Southeast, Red Bay, Alabama, 35582. A work session will precede the meeting by 30 minutes. I don't have anything else to discuss today, fellas. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion. All, right. All in favor? Aye. Thank you.